Hey everyone, it's Raj from 3CV Performance. Today's video topic is Rob Holding's ACL rupture that he injured during the game against Man United when he had a clash with Marcus Rashford. Now he's been ruled out for the entire season. So what exactly is the ACL? It's a ligament in your knee. I'm showing it to you right here. It actually, it runs from your shin bone, the tibia, from the front of it, and then goes to your thigh bone the femur. So you can see the full 360 view of it here. And here's a different picture to see what a tear looks like. You can see the ACL when it's torn, it's torn. So there's two mechanisms that really lead to an ACL rupture. One is due to over rotation of that knee, which leads to it rupturing. And so, and then secondly, when the knee gets overextended into hyperextension, I'm not exactly sure what caused Rob Holdings though. I had a hard time finding good video. That being said, post ACL construction, the team has said six to nine months. What we know with accelerated rehab protocols, that there is an increased, increased risk of re-injury and there's ongoing abnormalities for almost up to two years afterwards. Generally, the longer, the better for the ACL. And that's from everyone I've talked to as well. The graft, takes time to heal. So the more time you can give it, the better the outcomes tend to be. Now, in general, the average return to play is about 10 months and the outcomes are excellent. The majority of players do return to their pre-injury levels, which is great news for Rob. That being said, there are some risks, risks excuse me, associated. There's a 25% chance of re-rupture there's nearly a 21% chance of, re of rupturing the other ACL due to compensation. And then in addition to that, there's a 3.5 higher risk of actually developing osteoarthritis where the cartilage is wearing away. A recent example with that was uh, Nabil Fakir with Liverpool and they turned down that transfer because there was too much degeneration than what they were comfortable with. And also, there tends to be some asymmetry for about two years. So it is a long recovery process back, but it isn't the end of the world. And the mentality of taking the injury as a challenge, a growth mindset versus taking it as the end of the world is so critical to rehab. And from what I understand about Rob and the positivity I've seen from those around him and even Marcus Rashford sending him uh, a message about it. He's very positive about it, which always bodes well for recovery. So all in all, of course, no ACL rupture is ideal, but Rob certainly has a great chance of coming back and recovering and continuing to develop into that critical center back that Arsenal really need and we're relying on this year. All right, so that does it for me. You can always find me at 3CB Performance on Instagram or Twitter. Find all my stuff in a compilation on the Injury Insight. Or check out my clinical website, 3CBPerformance.com.